Hello everyone, in this video we are going to make plexus uh, with geometry nodes. It is completely procedural effect. Uh, you can apply this effect onto any object. So let's get start. So let's add a plane and then we're going to add the geometry nodes. So the first step is we're going to add some points. So let's add the distribute points node. So we have these points. So let me increase this density. After that we're going to add the separate node separate geometry and then we going to add the random value node for the selection so these are the points based on this selection and these are the points the inverted selection okay and after that uh, we going to duplicate this node and also duplicate this one so now we have this thing so let me add this point to so this node is controlling the overall point for the plexus and this node is controlling the number of junctions for the plexus okay so for the inverted uh, points we're going to instance some lines at the c line the curve line okay and for the rotation and scale we're going to use the proximity from the selection points okay so add the proximity node and change this to points because we have only points and after that we're going to add the subtract node then add the position so we're going to derive the rotation based on this vector so let's add the align Euler to vector node change this to z because our lines are along the z axis and for the scale we're going to use this distance okay so let's see this let me make this smaller 0 0.05 see you have these plexus junction and this is the overall points for the plexus and after that uh, we can instance something on these points so let's add the instance on points node let's instance icospheres and let's join them and we have to decrease the radius of this icosphere or we can control the scale of these instances with the random node change this to float and make this let's say 0 0.01 to 0 0.002 maybe slightly 0 0.01 to 0 0.02 mm, uh, maybe even smaller 0 0.005 to 0 0.01 uh, this is nice so now we have the points and some of the points are connected by the lines uh, because this setup is driven by the distribute points so we can apply this effect onto any object so let's add uh, maybe monkey and let me select this plexus and bring this monkey here and let's plug that into this and let me hide this see now we have the plexus onto this monkey or uh, you can increase the number of points on this to get this shape okay and this is the main setup uh, for the plexus now i'll show you how to animate them okay so let's move this to this side and here we're going to offset these points uh, based on the noise so let's add the set position node and then add the scale node vector scale node and after that duplicate this one change this to subtract and here we're going to connect the noise not the vector but the color and make this vector 0.5 so that the mean position of this noise is a zero change this to a 4d so that we can offset them with time so let's make this noise around maybe 2 or 1 1.5 uh, detail 0 
now we have something like that so now we can offset them uh, with time let me try it too yeah so we can control this scale uh, to animate them easily so to control the scale we're going to use the file of nodes uh, by the way these file of nodes are available on my gumroad page and they are completely free so let's add the object file of node and plug this into this scale and then we're going to add the object let's add this empty let me pin this setup and then select this empty and here let me make this three and here you can basically control the width let's add 0.1.5 so now uh, if we uh, move this see you can easily animate them so these follow off nodes are basically like our factors if you compare them uh, with the cinema 4d so with these nodes you can easily make uh, this really nice motion graphic effects okay so in this way you can basically animate these plexes and another thing is that you can also uh, distribute these plexes onto the text so let's add the string to carve node and let's type here let's say blender and then we need to realize these curves and because these are the curves we have to fill them to get the a mesh so that we can distribute the points and then plug that into this mesh and now let's uh, see these plexes i think we have to increase the number of points let's try maybe 1500 yeah i think this is fine see okay so now you can control the noise you can control the offset with this fall off and you can control the number of points for the plexus from this node so with the second node you can control the plexus junctions okay now let's add geometry to these lines so first we have to realize them and after that we going to add the node curve uh, to mesh and let's plug this into the join node and here we're going to add the curve circle okay so let's decrease it is radius maybe around 0 0.02 0 0.01 this may be around 12 okay and after that you can add the set material node to add different materials to the points and to the lines okay now let's add material to this uh, this is for points and let's add the second one uh, this is for the lines okay let's select the points and here the lines we can make the lines metallic and maybe down the roughness and for the point uh, we can make them also metallic but with a different color maybe blue or something i think we have to decrease the radius or the size of these points maybe 0 0.007 i mean sorry 0 0.05 to 25 Uh, now let's increase the density maybe 3000 uh, we can also add some light let me make this background black and let's add some light to this zz somewhere here and let's increase the power to around 500 
so let's also add some uh, depth of field to this maybe select this plane and make this smaller f stop two one yes and maybe we can also add the bloom and disable the ambient collision so you can play with this uh, material to get nice uh, combinations so overall this is the main setup for the plexus first we distribute the points and then uh, we separate the points and after that we again separate the points for the junctions and then instance some lines and uh, join them uh, using the proximity node and after that we have also instance the points on the all the points that we distributed on to the object and in the end we join them and for the animation we offset these points based on the noise you can also use a normal offset like we can offset in the z direction something like that and you can basically animate on this empty to create this kind of effect okay but i think with the noise give a more uh, organic look to this so this is it i hope you learned something from this video so if you like then please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more updates so thank you for watching see you in the next video happy noting bye